How you doing guys? This is Mark, Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to talk about computers. I get a lot of questions and uh, comments from people asking me about what kind of computer I use. Well, I use different kinds of computers, and since everything is moving to 4K, I wanted to see, can you do 4K on a budget? Well, today I'm going to show you. The iMac that I'm showing you here is the iMac uh, 2.6 Intel processor. It is the i5 model. This is the 699 unit. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM, and we're going to see, will this computer handle 4K? Will it work with a 4K monitor at 4K resolution, and will it work with Final Cut X? Let's take a look and find out. And what we have here is the new Samsung UD590 28-inch 4K monitor. And what I wanted to see is if this monitor is straight out of the box using a little mini Mac with the iris graphics, would this computer be capable of driving this monitor with 4K resolution? So you can use these new budget cameras like the FC1000, the LX100, these new sub $1,000 cameras. Will this computer work with these monitors? Well, let's take a look. Okay, I know it's a little bit hard to see uh, with this camera pointed directly at the screen, but basically what we have here is we have um, uh, the new Mini Mac running this new monitor, and we are running at 3840 by 2160. So here we are, guys. I got Final Cut Pro open, and basically what I wanted to see is, will this computer with the 8 gigabytes of RAM and the new Iris graphics Will it work with Final Cut Pro for $699? And I am happy to report it will. I will tell you this, that um, using a, a RAM test, it does use quite a bit of the RAM, but scrubbing back and forth and doing different rendering, the computer works perfectly. And yes, with the rendering, I did do some steady shot rendering, stabilizing, and it did take a little bit of time, but it did work perfectly. It used... So basically, with this mid-level... Uh, uh, Mac Mini, uh, Final Cut Pro works really pretty well, even with uh, with uh, using 4K files, and um, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, the downside is with this new Mini Mac is you cannot upgrade the RAM, and I will talk about that in a minute. But you know, for uh, working with video, um, this it works out pretty darn well, pretty well, I must say. Okay, so the Mini Mac. 2014 model is exactly the same size and dimensions as the 2012 model, but with one difference, you cannot open this door on the back where the RAM is. The RAM is soldered to the board. On the old model, you could open up this door and upgrade your RAM. There is no user upgradable RAM on this model. It is what you get from the factory. On also here, the ports on the back, I believe they're exactly the same as the 2012 model, but I'm happy to report with the Iris graphics, this is the computer to get if you want to use it for editing. It worked perfectly for me. For $699, this is the computer to get. So you can edit on a budget with a 4K monitor. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you soon.